It's Linda McPhee's workshop. Here's Linda. Hi, and welcome to the workshop. It's really tough playing the piano and doing the sewing machine and doing all that stuff at once, but I have fun, and this program is all about having fun, and it's all about sewing and creating. And one of my most creative friends is Elaine Lutz, and thanks for coming. Thank you for having me, Linda. Because you do such amazing things. Elaine is a home ec teacher. Uh, not home ec anymore, Linda. They've, they've recycled us, and they now call us fashion and design, which is... Which is very much what you do. It, it is mean, what yes. I do. Yes, and, and I would say the sad thing about home ec is that it's kind of dying. So what's, what's the deal? I don't know. Kids still love clothes, Linda. Yes. And uh, they love what we do, all our uh, crafts and, and projects. They love it. So okay. If know. every teacher Mine's was this teacher, I don't think there'd be any home ec dying. I mean, you do what the kids want to do and you you like yeah I, I do I do I do see what they do I go to the mall I see what's happening look through the magazines and they lead me along too with what sure. they want I don't want to I mean, make that I do what they just want just as crazy or crazier than well, I'm sure I and, learn from them yes and I know that you've got the grad project thing and I yeah, think that's so thanks. wonderful for kids to create in their minds the grad dress and then make it and the they test did great is, this year. is whether they wear it and they most of them did it and those were the happy girls they had no problems with their dresses yes yeah so um, keep it up keep thank it up you. don't thank ever you. stop well, you, you have to just together keep. okay all right so i know you love recycling oh That's, it's my thing right now I, I love it i love recycling it just gives me such satisfaction to make something from nothing and, and it's quick linda it yes. is so fast it's practically the only thing i do now is recycle yes and of course there's no money invested particularly so no. i mean it doesn't really matter if it works or if it doesn't work you can add or subtract or multiply exactly. whatever you want exactly. to do. Exactly. I've so been enjoying these textures. And so have a look at this coat that we just came up with. Mm. So do you know what we've made it from? I'm getting the you picture here. If you turn around, you can sort of see. I love it, Linda. It's for men's pants. Oh, I it just is all, love it. And I think men's pants have, have a, got a bad rap. I mean, what do people use men's pants for second time around? That's right. Maybe rugs or something. But I think you can make gorgeous coats out of it. I love this so, coat. I yeah, love have it. a look at the inside because the inside is quite interesting as well. I mean, you can actually wear it reversibly if you wanted. Exactly. And I like it that it's not lined, Linda. I yeah. love clothes on lined yeah, right yeah. now. They're softer. We've done pockets. We've done the fringe on the front. I mean, it's just, it's a statement. It, it is. I mean, you won't see another one like that. And you know, I think people think you worked really hard on this, but I can see this to go <laughs> quite quick once the pieces yes, are done. Yes. My students did this with a bunch of scraps. They made me a bag. From beautiful. all of their leftovers? Yes, from their leftover fabric. Because they thought I would love that. Personally, and I, did. I find the leftovers are more exciting than the originals. I'll get the first one cut out. And I don't even have to make it, which is really bad. I, I have it I cut know, out. I'm and with then you I can, on then, that. Then, then we can use the scraps. We are on the same page, girl. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. We are on the We've same been page. for a few years. <laughs> yes. So how do we begin? What we decided was the easiest thing is to take one of your rulers and, and you cut them all. And that shape. Good Cut thinking. them all that width. Got it. And so then just chop them up. Yes. So we've go got there. a whole bunch of pants here. We wash the pants to begin oh. with because that way it kind of... Makes them all unified, and good. of course, you don't know where they've been and what they've done, what so wash idea. the whole works. They look good. And some of them shrink, some of them don't, and it doesn't matter. What a good idea. So, yeah. so there is our, our pieces, and then we sew all these pieces together. So you decide. Well, first of all, the smaller one here, I guess, is here. Here we go. And so you take a pattern, and we decided our pocket pattern was kind of perfect. I've got this one. Sure. I Just like it. A front and a yes. back and yes. a sleeve is really yes. what you need. So let's use that. Make a piece of fabric that's big enough to fit your sleeve. Right. Alternately, if you don't want to make a sleeve, take a sleeve. Find a sleeve. There's sleeves or in one them. and one not the other. Yes, of course. So make it. My kids would you can then out. serge them all together. So we serge together, 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 then serge the whole oh, row. All the kids love the serger. Yes. They love this project, so, Linda. Yeah. Anything goes. You could use this as your right side, but of course, if you want the more neat side, you could use that as your right side too. Well, I'm thinking they go this one. Pockets would be simple. You could just salvage a pocket, <gasps> salvage a welt pocket, of course, and then sew some more things onto it or. or you know, this That's would be a it. fine pocket. I so. love it. I <laughs> so. love it. I would surge around that and just sew it and on. just sew it right on. Yeah. So we made pieces big enough for the sleeves. We made pieces big enough for the bodies. In fact, I think we do I have I knew some. this went fast. Yeah. Wow. I think we do have one that's got a pocket somewhere yeah, I know. I saw in a it. pocket earlier. Yeah, here. There it is. Oh, here. my God, that's There's cute. There's a pocket right into the... Look, at somebody worked hard to do that. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. So let's not waste no, it. No, no. So we make all these pieces of fabric and then cut it out and sew it together. So here it is. 
sewn together, so there's really no trick. I mean, well, now the just, only trick is I want one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But what I think you probably want to do with it is add fur to it. Oh, Linda, I've been into this fur recycling recently. One of my students got me started on it with an old coat of her mother's or something. Right? And I, I've been buying them off the kids, and they keep coming into the building. Let's so have I've been a look. chopping them up. Let's have a look this at what you're doing. This is the first one that I did. It's a jean jacket, and all I did was add by hand some it's blue fur jacket. on it. Let's see the, it's, the kids love this one. They go, Miss, let's wear that one tomorrow. Yeah. And is, is the fur washable or detachable? Oh, or this blah, blah. one is kind of long and thick, so I just would take it off. Like you'd stitch yeah. it, hand yeah. stitch it on, take it off. It goes on quick, it comes off I quick. I think that always spoils it. When or I make something really creative, everybody says, is it washable? Well, you can dry clean it. You can put you it, can it take on somewhere it off. else. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And after I did that one, there was no stopping me. This is a coat I found at the at the Salvation Army or some Goodwill store, yes. one of the recycle stores. Yes. And all I did was pull the sleeves off of it, and I'll wear a leather jacket or a turtleneck. And I love this coat. I it put is? I pulled yeah. the old uh, cream-colored collar off and added a black furry piece that's detachable. Yes. And okay. then I got a little creative and threw some uh, upholstery tassels on it and some shiny buttons and some lace. What's that lace down the it, front? Remember the Can song Leather that? and Lace? Yeah. Well, yeah. get a little bit of music uh, yeah. innovation here. Yeah. And you put a chunk of lace yeah. down the front. Was that for yeah. any reason? Uh, to cover up the ugly buttonholes, Linda. Oh, perfect. Of and course. often what I do, because the coats are a little bit worn, is I'll re-line them. Okay. You know, with yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, no, okay. that that is a wonderful oh, piece. Oh, so, I love that coat. You know, we're going to have to take a break and get rid of all this stuff so okay. we can get into the fur thing. Because well, I fur and wool together. We'll put the two together. Oh, beautiful. I like okay, that. Okay, so let's get going. Okay. All right. Elaine, you're going to show me some of these creations? I mean, let's have a look. Linda, I love to go out in the winter with just a little leather jacket on under something like this because I get so hot, eh? Yes. So well, it's sort you of say like, that's your time right now? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And that's our right. weather, I blame it a lot on our sure Albertan is. weather. It's sure hot it one minute, cool another. So this vest for me works really good. What I did is uh, cut out pieces and added the flanges on the sleeves. And yeah. I can wear it over a leather yeah. blazer. So or what over type a black of fur is this? This used to be a coat. It's a, a sheared coat? Um, mouton, I think. Yeah. Sheared yeah. mouton. Yeah. It doesn't really Matter. No, I mean, it's, a, no. it's an old coat. So, no. No. so let's have and a look it's got some Persian lamb trim. I love the Persian lamb. And so, did you do anything with the lining in it, or did you uh, have to do well, that? Well, this is a brand. This one I recycled, Linda, totally. So I cut out the pieces out of like you have real simple okay. patterns, yep. butted them together, and sewed them by machine, and, and then just trimmed it with Persian lamb. This, so. But the neat thing about this one, Linda, is when you get started, you say the pieces turn into something else. Yeah. It, this next coat okay. is the exact reverse. As I was making that one, I discovered this <laughs> coat in the scraps. Yeah. Yes, so because it was you faster. had taken off. That's yeah. exactly right. I knew you'd see that. Sure. So it's yeah. a mirror image of the other coat and didn't take long. Or, and I was like, I just That's love them. My, but my problem is I don't know which one to wear. And you don't know when to stop. I know ah, that. Yes. Well, I never stop. No, but I don't no, know which one no, to wear. No, no. Now, what I did. What a dilemma. Not, not knowing which one to wear. Oh, what a dilemma. so beautiful. Yeah, and if, yeah. you, if we can show the legs. What yes, I what's did, going on with these legs? Linda, I, I had the sleeves that I pulled out of something else. Well, the sleeves would have been out of this coat. No, this is a brand. This one I cut out. This is not. Okay. Recycled from an old coat. Oh, okay. That's when okay. I cut out okay. of an old coat. Yeah. But what I did is I took the sleeves from another coat yeah. and I sewed them onto my pant legs. <laughs> Huh? Now, okay. these are, they're just diagonal sleeves. They just well, went as slick if, as a wick. If you look on the side view yeah. of this, you'll yeah. see that's the sleeve shape. There's yeah. the sleeve cap. Yeah. And Linda, yeah. did you notice? I've got another set of <laughs> I know everybody gets a check a lot of these, but these are other legs, other sleeves. Okay, so I, these are hooked onto your boots? No, they, they're detachable. You can wear them or take them off as you wish. You can. Uh, they're like leggings. They're like are, leggings, or right. Or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. And so you said you don't like to wear pantyhose no. and tights and all this. Too warm. Time. Too warm. So, and these so are these are breathable, Linda. They're so comfortable. So all it's you natural. Do is just take the sleeves. Just like your wool is natural, so is the, the fur yeah, and the leather. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. What else have we got? Okay. Here we've got a vest that a student of mine actually it was a coat, and I pulled the sleeves off because they were so worn out. It was an old rabbit coat. One of my okay. students gave it to me. Okay. So I pulled the sleeves off because they were too nasty to use. Yeah. And all I did was line it with upholstery 
and put some pockets in it in the front. But and when it's you say an line, that is actually the outside of it. Yes, so, wear it reversal because the inside yeah. of that fur is pretty worn out. So you could actually wear it the other way. Oh, you could. You could. Let's undo it. How yep, do you undo can. It? Does it? Yeah. There's, so we show the there. whole thing, the yep. whole inside is fur. Yep. But if it's really ratty, it's you might just leave a little bit peeking, yeah. and, and that way you get yeah. the joy of the whole thing yeah. and the feel of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And everything with fur goes together. Like I can wear the yes. pants yes. with that. It yep. all goes yep. together. The bad news on television, black doesn't show up quite so well because it's it's black. But uh -huh. this stuff is just stunning. Okay, now for in the building, because we've got air, we've got some rooms in my school that are freezing cold, okay. and some that aren't. So we sort of have to do the Alberta weather thing in yes. the building. Yes. So this is a blouse that I made that I used uh, some crushed velour, yeah. which sews up really pretty and doesn't show any mistakes. Yeah. And then and I added stretches, a, so and stretches. And stretches. Joy. And then I added Linda just some bits and pieces of some uh, fur to it, like wool. Yes. And I lined it with velvet. Oh, yeah. I lined it with velvet. I did this all yeah. by hand while yeah. I was sitting at my girlfriend's visiting. Sure. And sewed some kind of ethnic yeah. thongs lace, onto thong, lace onto it. And then, and then I added that to on. the sleeves, too. Well, I guess I must have run out. Yeah. I had yeah. some on there one was, side. Yeah. Well, it was meant to be. Yes, okay. <laughs> meant to okay. be. And the so this is all detachable. All then. detachable, yeah. washable, so, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. And then you can move this to something else. Of course. All the magazines this year are showing fur collars, Linda. Yes. And if we can recycle it, oh, I even wear this one on my waist. Oh. You can wear it everywhere. Well, yes, yeah. you would. I don't need any more around there, but that, that works. And I don't want you to feel left out, so, Linda, I brought you a coat to try. <laughs> oh, now, yes. this coat I bought for $9. Okay. And I pulled the old collar off because it was one of those silvery gray mink things oh, that's so yeah. worn out. Yeah. And all I did is had some leather tabs, a little bit of nothing's leather left on over, here. leather yeah. on here, yeah. and a lot of ribbon going on. So you okay, can tie so it. Okay, I can off. tie it up, yep. and you can make it. Yeah. It wraps, yeah. so you can wrap it little or more. Yeah. And, uh, and then this collar comes off too. Oh, perfect. And I was kind of noticing, Elaine. Very similar. You know, here we have a whole roll of this yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, you could. Just I could do a lot of things with that bags. I haven't got purses yet, yeah. but that would yeah. make a nice yeah. bag. You All right, you're okay. styling, Linda. Okay, I'm where it's at. Okay, so let's let's find out okay. how to do this. We got oh. it. Okay, what's the secret? You know what? It's not that hard, Linda. It's very, very, very simple. But people simple. are intimidated with this. I mean, they, yeah. they say, oh, well, maybe I can't that's do what it. I've learned from the kids. They're not intimidated. Okay. So first of all, you have to cut. Don't use scissors. Okay. okay. So what you could do is, get, I've got the professional tool because I've been doing this so much. But we've got exactly. Oh, we you can, can use yeah. anything. Yeah. You can use these that I bought at a local fabric sure, store. Sure. They dull, but so do my blades. Yeah, and you and get new blades. I think they're safer. Okay? okay. So have you got a piece that you have cut, or, um, or can we see the back of? Because the actually back, everything's lined and finished already. Oh, wouldn't you know? Yep. Yeah, you do. Yep. Well, the back is is leather. It's leather, I mean, it's and what you do is you cut with the blade, and it just splits the fur. You just Nothing's pull it left apart. over. Yes. But if you use scissors, you've got fluff everywhere, and it spoils it. And it looks like you've yeah. given it a haircut, and yeah. it doesn't look. You right. may so. remember these from long ago. Yes. Linda, this is like as old as everything. I yes. pulled it out just to show you that I still have it, and this might have been where I started long, long ago with the fur from your store, sewed it around, sure, and knitted, sure. snoot. Yeah. But so you pull this over your yeah. head, and this yeah. becomes a collar yeah. or a hood, whatever way. So. But I mean, quicker is to go to the Goodwill or to. Any resale store, and what I do is I buy the coat, I give them back the coat, and all I do is keep the collar. So I okay. don't need all those. Yeah, but yeah. now and, that and you've somebody could use the coat, so yes, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. the coat could be cut into pants now or into those <laughs> those things. That's true. And I attach ribbon to tie it on. This could be almost like an apron. It could be a collar. Okay. Yes, yes. I walk a lot, Linda, so I need this. And okay. this I too got at your store on the okay. north yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. And I just love this. I made them for gifts. So these for my are girlfriend. all the scraps of yeah. all the junk. Yeah. Fur, so I yes, love that. you just put it together and put it there on a band and put it on Nothing left over. I sew it onto gloves. Yes. And since I'm in this Persian lamb thing, I've applied it to my gloves. But what I want to tell you, because you may not be used to this yet, because you haven't maybe done as much fur, no, if I, I buy haven't. this tape and I sew it, I tape it on the edge so it doesn't stretch. This is my interfacing. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay? Yeah. In those vests, I use this pellon. Okay. To interface them so they get some body. I like it's, it's not an enough. iron on then. No, it's called that. It's called fusible pellon, but it isn't fusible. Okay. You sew okay. a lot. Could you use an iron on? I haven't tried that on fur. I do it on leather. Yeah. So yeah. why not on fur? Yeah. I'm just, just thinking that sometimes side. the back. Yeah. How do you tell if your okay. if your coat is good? Good, Linda. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. I bought this, uh, and all you do is glue this. I love the smell of it. Mm -hmm. But you glue this stuff onto some. Uh, 
thin it's like fabric. It's latex. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you glue it on and that strengthens the back. Okay, so then you glue a piece of fabric yes, on it? Yes, it's like mending. Yes. It's mending yes. quick. Yeah. And I've done that yeah. because sometimes yeah. fur is yeah. kind of falling yeah. apart and you need to give it yeah. a little bit of stability. Yeah. So if you put some glue on it, just be careful that with That is good. Yeah. That yeah. is good. It works yeah. wonders. It's sure. miracle stuff. Sure, sure. And then, you know, I've got the hand sewing needles. I've done a lot of hand sewing and I've got the sewing machine needles. But if it's working without the sewing machine needles, I don't use them. I don't bother wasting my leather. What kind of thread do you use? Okay, I use Guterman to start with, but what I did after a while is I got this stuff, and the nylon, um, heavy yeah, nylon, and it's yeah. called whale thread. Yeah, yeah, and it's it called is, whale. Yeah, it's yeah. strong. And we use yeah. this on mucklucks. We use this on yeah. all kinds of yeah. things. It's I use it to sew strong. my buttons on yeah. and to do seams. Yeah. But yeah. what I do, Linda, to hem is I bought this tape. It's just like a. Uh, it's a tape. It's it? like yeah, a linen-y yeah, tape yeah, or a yeah, gauzy tape, yeah, and I mm -hmm. sew this on the bottom, and mm -hmm. I just bring it up, and then I can hem the lining yes. to this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it really does go quick. I have to show you this. You're going to laugh at this one. One of my students gave me this coat, and it was so dirty that I masking taped it off, and I sprayed it with paint, with with uh, car paint. Of course. I mean, leather can be dyed. It's, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I took it outside. My neighbors wonder what yeah, I'm doing, yeah. and I taped it off, yeah. and I just sprayed it to clean it up. <laughs> and then I pulled the lining out and put this rather uh, yeah, exotic flashy, lining. exotic lining. Yes, lining. Yes, I yes. ran out in the sleeve, but I like different. Sure. I like the patchwork. Sure, sure. And then in the pockets, they were dirty too. So what I did is I, I um, yes. hand sewed that hand in there. That lining I didn't want well. to pull that pocket off. Okay, Change when, the button. when you look at a coat, do you immediately then see a vest? If you can then just take the sleeves out, you would yeah. say. That would be the easiest thing, and yeah. then use the sleeves for something yeah. else. Or this one I left the sleeves in because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you might even want to layer them. Mm -hmm. So it, I look at the coat. If the elbows are good, I leave it. Like the skirt that I have on is actually sleeves that okay. I've, I've straightened with uh, methyl hydrate yeah, yeah. and tacked them to the table, let them dry, and it took that elbow shape out of the... So really the new sort of thing in your world, new old thing, is vests from coats. Yes. So if it's as simple as just taking out the sleeves and finishing off the sleeves, that'd be great, or yes. turning the whole thing yes. inside out and putting another yes. cover on it. and. Yes. Or I'll yeah. take fur and applique it onto a leather uh, blazer or like I did the leather pants, even onto boots. Okay. And, and I've made and those detachable. You will sew that by hand or by, by machine? By hand, by hand. Or what I do, Velcro, like it's our duct tape. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. sew Velcro onto something and then sew the Velcro onto the fur and then I can move it. Okay, okay, yes. So it's just like detachable. So what, what do we have here? Well, I'm a country and western kind of girl, and the guys <laughs> wear shaps while I wear the pant with, uh, uh, I got an old coat, and I ripped the front of it off, and I just applicated to the top okay, of my so pants. Okay, so these were existing pants. Yes, then. these are pants I... Yeah, I, yeah. So you just use some of your pants. Yeah. I mean, especially the pants that are whole, leather that are all wrecked. There's I mean. a whole lot of coat left over that's going to become like a hat okay. and sleeves onto a, a sweater that I'm going to do. I mean, this, yes, I think... Fur, the recycled fur in bits is probably more exciting exactly. than than in big big amounts. And upholstery material, you know upholstery yes. material. Yeah. I took this vest, Linda, and I ripped the lining out of it, and I wear the fur in or out, either way. Yeah. And all I did yeah. was what was left over is I applicate that. It, it, that was what was left over. I applicated that onto an, a little uh, denim uh, leather uh, skirt. skirt. And, then and the skirt the, may not have been the right the, length. Well, well the still skirt's there, still actually. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I left it in there. I'll often cut it away. Yes, but if that skirt was wrecked or ruined yeah, or whatever, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can use waistbands. Oh, that, exactly. That just be fine. I'm so. hating waistbands right now. I pull them all off. Yes, yeah, so you they, don't have to make you know, them. No, the kids taught me that. They hate waistbands. Okay. So, so just, I don't do it. And it's just faster. Find one and, yeah. and use it. Yeah. Everybody wearing right now, Linda is wearing shawls. So what I did with this one is just took off of that a coat of mine that I was going to recycle, my own old wolf coat. Yeah, I just yeah. love to recycle them. Yeah. Who, you can't let them go. No. And I put this uh, velvet on. Velvet is good for lining. It doesn't move. It does. It sticks yeah, to you. Yeah. So and I sewed it together. Yeah. And I can wear it sideways. I can wear it normal with a You can around your middle or Anything. wherever you want. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. of those from old coats. And this one I didn't even have to line. All I did was add ribbon. Oh, I think I walk with this one. I tied <laughs> it around my neck. Yes, 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 yes. The kids the love muff. my muff. Yes. This yes. one was a little harder. I had to buy this form that's in here. You've got the zipper and everything. In oh, oh, so you yes, just bought yes, them off and covered yes. it. I haven't yes. decided where I'll be wearing this, but maybe with the jean jacket skating or that something. That would be perfect. Yeah. Well, I have some glue. I have some cutters. Yes. And I mean, I've been playing with, with fur for a long time. So thanks so I know, much, Elaine. And thanks for showing my coat. Then. Oh, you mean it's not my coat? No. Oh, darn. Okay. we got to go. Not. we got to go. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you. be back with some more exciting stuff.
have a lot of fun when I sew, and I love music, so did I come up with the jackpot on this one. I ran in, at the sewing show, I ran into Kathy Miller and her husband John, and Kathy, you've combined the two. Yes, I have. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Isn't it great? You are the world's only quilting, singing quilter. As far as I know, I am, yes. Okay, so, so what, how did this ever begin? Well, in 1991, I got hired to write music as a professional songwriter mm -hmm. for a play about quilting. And mm -hmm. it was presented, a 20-minute version was presented at Quilts Canada right. in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I realized there were thousands more stories that I still needed Just to be as told. there are thousands of quilts to be made. Exactly. That's thousands of stories. And really, it's because of that that I became a quilter. Okay, okay. And then how did John get involved in this? I hired her to come up to Yellowknife and sing with the group that I was singing with up there, Yellowknife, in okay. uh, Gumboots. Okay. And, uh, you had had such fun. A good, you said, I want to join this team. Is that's, that right. that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. And I want to travel the world, and that's what you do now is... Yep. Travel the world. Singing for quilting guilds everywhere. In your RV, have RV, will travel, and yep. sewing machine? And sewing machine. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a special quilt that you, that you showed me, and I, I would like to, to get a story on this quilt. This quilt was made by the Capital City Quilt Guild in Lansing, Michigan. Oh, I love the guys in Lansing. Yes, guys. yes. Yeah. Uh, we sang a couple of songs for them, and uh, they took the CDs home with them, so, and they each made a block representing one of the songs on that CD. Okay, so there's a song about the ship. That's I know the Rajah that quilt, yes, yes. Uh, Australian uh, convict ship quilt. That's one? about displaying the quilts outside of a quilt uh, retreat, okay. and it's called Just Look Up. Yeah. I love this one. This is my kind of talk right here. So what's this one about? That's the scrap bag polka, and that's the one I'm going to sing. Okay, and all the polka dots on the scrap bag. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, take it away. All right, here we go. Don't put the plaid patch next to Grandma's. Although her maiden name was McIntyre, she never could stand the tartan of her clan. It always used to raise her Scottish ire. So don't put the plaid patch next to Grandma's. Don't put the pinstripe near the border. Cause Uncle Joe was always hopping trains. He'd be headed down the track. First time he turned your back in his Sunday best out in the rain. So don't put his pinstripe near the border. Scrap bag polka, pull them out and have some fun. You can introduce someone and start a new up. Scrap bag polka, even direst enemies lie there in harmony without a care. Don't separate the wool and gingham. Though he was rich and she was on the door. Though they never had the chance to share a second dance. They knew that they had joined their hearts and souls. So don't separate the wool and gingham. Scrap bag polka, pull them out and have some fun. You can introduce someone and start a new up. Scrap bag polka, even direst enemies lie there in harmony without a care. Don't forget to keep these two together. Although the colors may not work so well, they live up on the hill and they are neighbors. Though not so neighborly, so I've heard tell. The legend has it they will fight forever. They seem to have no decency or guilt. Maybe one day they will love each other. If they lie together, they're upon my quilt. Scrap that polka, pull them out and have some fun. You can introduce someone and start a new up. Scrap that polka, even direst enemies lie there in harmony without a care. Scrap that polka. Pull them out and have some fun. You can introduce someone and start a new up. Scrap that polka, even direst enemies lie there in harmony without a care. Bravo! That's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I could just polka all day long. Oh, good. Where's my partner? Oh, no. So I, I just, I'm overwhelmed. You've been, you've done CDs. Mm -hmm. You've Tell me, is there any bad news to this whole game? There's no bad news at all. It's really? unbelievable. And you say I get you've been a to Australia doing this? You've been... Yeah. Oh. yeah, we're on our way back to Australia soon, and uh, we've done all over North America, met thousands of quilters, and the best part is I get to keep quilting. <laughs>
And there's, I mean, there's no end. No. I mean, there's quilters, quilters, quilters all over. It's a wonderful, wonderful, you know, we've got to go. It's a great way to end the show. It's just been so much fun. So do join us again because this whole program is called Linda McPhee's Workshop. I run into the most exciting people in this whole thing, and you guys were some of them. So thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you. To receive the companion book for this series, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call 1-888-McPhee.